New England, the region where Yale is located, is looked on as a region without God, without religion. Spiritually dull, to say the least. And there's so many um, intellectual communities in New England. It's just super interesting to see how religion is playing a part at these schools, how these schools are incorporating religion, accepting religion, uh, everything of the sorts. Seeing it all like come to life, you know? You know? But I'm a Christian and I go to Yale, so I'm gonna talk about my experience, okay? That was cute. That was so cute. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Hannah, and I'm coming at you with another video. Mm -mm, I don't like that. Hey everybody, it's Hannah, and this video um, has been requested quite a few times, um, and I also wanted to make it myself, but yeah. Today, my video is going to be about being a Christian at Yale. There are all different faiths represented, and I'm confident that um, each faith has good representation at the school with um, clubs and with um, space to practice their faith. Let me get in, get into it. Let's start in general. So when you get in, um, I, I'm pretty sure it's when you're filling out like the roommate questionnaire, you also say like, oh, do you want a peer liaison from, um, these culture houses, but also gives you the option for a peer liaison from the chaplain's office. So if you affiliate strongly with any religion, um, then you can say, yes, I want a liaison. They like answer your questions about religious life at Yale. Um, they can kind of help guide you. They might not even be the same religion as you, um, but it's just to foster like community in general. So that's like a general resource, one that I didn't utilize as much, but I would like to. And there also are multiple um, club affiliations with different religions on campus. I'm not too like familiar with the other like religious groups on campus, but I am familiar with the Christian groups and the Christian group that I'm involved in is Chi Alpha. Um, but there's also a Christian union, Athletes in Action, which is like group for athletes specifically who are Christian um, but anyone can go if you like have like a best friend who's an athlete and goes there like you can go with them and Yale students for Christ um, and I think that's all of them they all have like the same goals of um, helping you deepen your faith and um, just learning about your faith and even if you're not Christian they welcome people who are just interested and in, um, learning about Christianity meeting Christian people um, it's really open to anyone that whatever group you feel the most comfortable, like, not even comfortable, like, the one you vibe with the most, I guess. Just to explain, like, what, what Chi Alpha is all about, because that's, like, the one that I was involved in, so, like, I don't really know too much about the other ones. So, we have like large group meetings where it's um some people of the chi alpha staff like there's like nice string lights nice worship when we're at um the large groups we get like these these little books like you can get them if you want um like this is x this is for luke and this is for matthew and you could like i don't know it's so shiny um but yeah so they're like books of the bible but like if you don't have a bible like you could just use this and take notes because there's like a large room for notes beautiful look at it all those notes okay I, i'm just obsessed with notes i don't is, is it just me i don't think so i don't think so and then you could also join a core group it's not mandatory but it's like amazing it's a small little bible city group that meets once a week so yeah so 
And everyone at Chi Alpha is like super chill, like super nice, very approachable. Recently we've just been doing like Zoom Bible studies and stuff like that. That's some of the like general stuff. Now I'm gonna get into the like deeper stuff, like more maybe controversial, maybe I don't know. This is just my opinion, but in like my experience, so I could be taking it totally wrong, like people's vibes. Being a Christian personally at Yale, like what does that look like for me? I can't really say how other people view me. It's just like how I perceive them to view me. Try not to be all over the place. I talked about this in my, probably both my day in the life and my week in the life videos. And I want to make so much more of those when I get back to campus because they're so fun. And I low-key like didn't know how to edit before, but now I do, so it's going to be better. I try to wake up early every morning and read my Bible like throughout the day. Um, I feel like religion does come up a lot, like, just as much as politics, and that's why I'm interested in pursuing a political science and religious studies joint degree. I feel like those two areas of life are really, like, the most impactful, rather, whether we realize it or not. Even if you are, like, an atheist, religion and politics really affects your life view so having that morning start where um i can be grounded in the word have a good foundation uh the rest of the day when those types of conversations come up i'm not like all wishy-washy about like what i'm saying i'm not like confused or anything basically if you're not christian and you're watching this what i'm trying to say is when you're christian you believe in the bible right this is my bible it's very pretty i like it Oh, focus. Okay, this is my Bible. I painted it myself. It's coming off. It's a little like that. What's written in the Bible has been brought to these people's minds by um, God. What is said in the Bible is the word of God. Jesus is the son of God and that Jesus has died for your sins. I'm not going to get into like the theology of Christianity. I just wanted to like sum that up so you have context for what I'm saying. Knowing what you're saying that you believe um, helps you to be able to act on those beliefs as well. Because if you don't know what you're saying you believe, how can you act on it? If that makes any sense. But I have a journaling Bible. It helps me like annotate what I'm reading. This is just a random page I flipped to. And I just like, yeah. I am trying to pl explain it in the most simplest terms that I can. Maybe I'm doing it, not doing it enough justice, but also what I noticed is like, I'm the type of person that I am. It's like, I'm either super passive or I'm just super straightforward. And usually it's, I'm just straightforward and like clear with you, pretty blunt, pretty out there. With my faith, I kind of just like talk about it all the time because it always comes up like literally and everything so at Yale I'd say the people at Yale aren't like dismissive of it it's really interesting because mostly all of them were like oh really why do you believe that like tell me more those were very cool conversations I had this year about like my beliefs their beliefs um similarities it's like really nice to be able to just have those open conversations with people who are Christian or who aren't Christian. Yeah, I'd say that's like one of my favorite things about Yale actually, like all the perspectives. How I think people perceive me um, is kind of like normal um, because if you're watching this and you're a Christian, it says in the Bible that we're not of this world, so like the people of the world will not like understand your ways or whatever. And I'd say that with religion, like, people are just like, oh, why? Like, they want to learn about why you think the way you think, but they're not going to be like, that's dumb. I'd say people are very respectful in that sense. No one's coming at you for it. If, if other people have encountered the opposite, I am so sorry for that. And, but for the most part, what I have what seen has been acceptance of everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am like, this is just me rambling on and on and on and on. But I am going to be making 
a video series on my channel coming soon. Somebody requested it. Um, maybe you can guess what it is. But, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, Just like and subscribe, and I'm going to keep making more videos. I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button, please.